In this video lecture, I'll be talking on development of B cell and T cell hybridoma. B cell hybridoma, in order to express antibodies with mono specificity, antigen primed B cells can be fused with cancerous plasma cell or myeloma cells. Then this will lead to formation of heterocarion, which is multi-nucleated uh, cell, taking nucleus from the B cell and the cancerous cell. This uh, followed actually by random loss of some chromosomes. This is followed by formation of cells with a single nucleus, as can be seen here, with chromosomes from each of the fused cell. And it is known actually as hybridoma or B cell hybridoma. Hybridoma had the immortal growth properties of the myeloma cell and secreted antibodies with monospecificity by the B cell. These antibodies are monoclonal antibodies and I find it will be interesting just to highlight or to give a short account on monoclonal antibodies as I mentioned the, that these monoclonal antibodies are produced by B cell hybridoma and they have uh, clinical uses, different or several clinical uses. Uh, however, I will mention just uh, some examples in in vitro uh, diagnostic reagents uh, in detection of the pregnancy, and uh, they are very useful in diagnosis of several microorganisms, and also monoclonal antibodies can be used just to measure medications levels in blood and matching histocompatibility antigens and for detection of some tumor antigens and also for detection of some tumor antigens by radio labeled monoclonal antibodies. Similarly, a uh, production of T cell hybridoma uh, can be achieved by fusing uh, uh, production of T cell actually sorry hybridoma can be achieved by fusing uh, T cell to cancerous T cell and this T cell actually activated T cell or antigen specific T cells and it is uh, fused to this immortal cancerous T lymphomas uh, heterocarions, uh, this cell with uh, nuclei or nucleus from T cell and nucleus from cancerous cell. These are uh, different uh, genetically, and uh, this actually formation of this uh, heterocarion followed by random loss of some chromosomes. So this followed is this step followed by uh, formation of cells with a single nucleus, as can be seen here, with chromosomes from each of the fused cell, T cell uh, and cancerous cell, and it is known as T cell hybridoma. Hybridoma had the immortal growth properties of the cancerous cell and secreted the cytokine of interest uh, for example, here they are uh, activated just to produce interferon uh, gamma. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Bollard.